My name's Caroline Murphy. I'm from Belfield Furnishings. We are a specialist curtain manufacturer based in the UK. We are responsible for designing and supplying the Marks & Spencer made-to-order range of curtains. Made-to-order curtains are fantastic if you want to create a more personal, bespoke look for your room, or if you have really unusually sized windows, you can choose from a stunning selection of 400 fabrics. The process for selecting your curtain is you can go on the Marks & Spencer website, you can visit 50 or so Marks & Spencer stores so you can get a really good feel for all the fabrics. In order to help you make your decision, you can order six free swatches and they're delivered to your home within a week. It's always good to assess your options in the room because the light affects different fabrics and also you need to match it up with your wall coverings, your floor coverings or existing soft furnishings. You might want to select a fairly classic traditional cream lining. You also have the option of thermal lining or blackout lining. Thermal linings are really clever in that it's not just about using them in the winter. In the summer, if it's a hot day, you can draw your curtains and the lining actually helps to prevent the, the heat of the sun getting into your room. The next stage is to choose what kind of header you'd like. This heading is the pencil pleat heading and as you can see it creates a really nice fullness. The pinch pleat header, which has a slightly more formal look to it, this one here's got the fabric covered buttons. And this is your eyelet heading. Eyelets are considered to be a little bit more casual, slightly more modern. We always encourage customers to match their metals. So if you have a brass colored curtain pole, you can choose to have a brass colored eyelet. You can order tie backs to go with it, pelmets, matching cushions, and also fabric by the meter. Measuring up is actually really simple. Approximately 15 centimeters above the top of your window is a really good point to fit your track or pole. And we would also suggest that you have the track or pole extending 10 to 15 centimeters either side of the window. To measure for the length of your curtains, if you are using a track, measure from the top of the track to your chosen point, whether it was to the sill, below the sill, or to the floor. If you're using a pole with rings, measure from the bottom of the rings to your chosen point, and in doing so, this will show the pole once the curtains are hanging. If you're electing to use eyelets, you just measure from the top of the pole to your chosen point, and then add on four centimeters. To measure for the width of your curtains, all you need to do is measure your track from one end to the other if it's a continuous track. If your track is actually in two parts, just measure both parts of the track and add those two parts together. If you're using a pole and the pole has finials, just measure within them from one end to the other. The factory who make the curtains actually calculate the amount of fabric that needs to be used in the curtains. It's very, very straightforward. 